Ending out the holiday weekend with red flag warnings in place. You can see throughout much of the valley, even towards the coastal valley area and parts of the foothills. We're going to be in red flag warning with critical fire weather developing, dry, gusty winds, rapid fire spread, and easier fire starts. That's going to take us all the way through Tuesday evening. Comparatively speaking, year to year, you can see less of the state has seen acres burn. Last year, we had about 16,000 acres burn. This year, we're closing in on about 11,000 acres, but it's early in the season, and we've had a couple of systems pass through late in the season that have helped to at least tamp down the peak fire season. Most of that has been in the the northern part of the state and parts of the Sierra Spine. In fact, for Saturday, parts of the holiday weekend, we had a few showers roll through this year, about a quarter of an inch or less rolling through there. We get the dry winds right after that. We're back to the warmer weather with highs close to 100. So with that warming trend in place and a little bit of wind, we're going to keep that fire danger higher on Tuesday. As far as our Monday forecast, you can see it's right along I-5 here that we see some of the higher fire danger and a little pocket right here on the east side of I-5 that will be in the moderate range. It's going to back off slightly for Monday evening as we start to bring up that humidity slightly, but then it's right back with us on Tuesday. And again, since the air is going to be so dry with two days of those northwest winds plus the warming temperatures that's why that red flag warning will stay in effect through tuesday beyond that wednesday starts to look a bit better despite the fact we'll be closing in on 100 degrees for that midweek outlook here's a look at the wind forecast and you can see generally lighter winds take us through sunday evening now they're right back with us for monday afternoon not especially strong not like about a week and a half ago where we had those super strong winds on friday but there's just enough plus with the recent heat that we've seen record setting heat over the past week or so and the drying brush and grass especially for the lower elevations we're going to keep that fire danger in the high category even into tuesday winds only about five to ten miles per hour so it's not going to be necessarily problematic to do things out and about it's just that it will lead to easier starts for fire and easier spread most of this is going to be lower elevations, and since it is a big travel weekend, some of the vehicle and equipment prevention measures, secure chains, nothing dragging on the ground, properly maintained brakes, metal-to-metal -metal contact can equal sparks, not to mention mowing and weeding. might want to just put that off for Monday and Tuesday because we've already been tracking fires where a metal piece on the mower has hit rocks, it starts to spark, and then a fire quickly spreads, and uh, unfortunately, we're just in that time of year it's really hard to get that under uh get that under control and don't drive vehicles on dry grass hot pipes and mufflers can start fires we've had stories that we've had to follow with that and carrying a, a fire extinguisher it's kind of interesting with that fire that we tracked yesterday our, our saturday uh, in North Highlands that the guy afterwards said, I wish I had a fire extinguisher with me because I could have prevented this fire from moving through my backyard. Some of the areas that will be at the more moderate risk are going to be the Sacramento Valley surrounding foothills, parts of the Santa Cruz Mountains and deserts. You can see these in the, or uh, the kind of orangish brown color here for Monday. Now, Tuesday, it's actually going to expand through parts of central California. So the fire danger is definitely here. And the one thing that I did want to point out on this is southern mountains and even parts of the southern Sierra are starting to see some of this wildland fire danger increase. And we haven't really seen that too much this year because we had recent snow and also some rain events that have come through. But now things are starting to dry out. So now we're talking about a completely different wildfire plan here. It's uh, really the time of year that we have to have that evacuation plan in place. Sign up for wireless emergency alerts. Keep your phone handy. Have cash, food, and water in your car. Gas up the car and have a go bag ready to go in case there is an evacuation called.